Right, I wanted to go through a couple of opportunities out there for you guys. Uh, it won't let me do it in the app. They don't like the screen recording, so I had to take some pictures. So I like Seller. Uh, been holding resistance here uh, around 8. So I think we could see an easy move to 9 or 10. Really, really strong move would be up to 11. The risky part here is that you're in all-time high net. Uh, it, you're in a token that's at an all-time high at that point, right? And that's risky business. So it either goes one or two ways. The overall consensus is that enough confidence to push it through, like something that we saw with uh, Seoul, um, Bitcoin, or if the confidence isn't there, it comes back and they tank it back down to around you know, four or five. Keep, this one's actually signaled. This one is, um, it's been holding around 40, right? But it's got potential up around 60, right? It's, it, it, it's hit 60 not too long ago, right? And I like that. I like when, yeah, if somebody's already done a task, then you know they can do it, right? So uh, I think there's a good opportunity there. Here's the downside though, right? We're looking at a one month. When you look at the one week, we're in a downward trend, right? Of course, everything is after last week, so you gotta take that into consideration. But we are seeing new lows at each one of these different uh, lows, which would indicate a downward trend. So over the short term, risky, but over the long term, several weeks, keep would be a good uh, opportunity there. Um, engine obviously this has been a slow moving signal uh, probably one of the longest ones we've ever had to open but there is some good opportunity right now i think at 150 we're at a discount it's held pretty steady there when you open this up to a three month you can see that there's opportunity up near two dollars it just may take a while to get there right avalanche current signal held resistance at 49 where we wanted it to and uh, that's currently where it's at so it's due to break out anytime uh, assuming that it holds this pattern and you're going to see somewhere in the 60s uh, low to mid 60s there uh, when it comes through sushi swap looking at the three month it's typically a slow mover um, but it's holding resistance down now this is a little bit of a trend here uh, you don't want it you really wanted it to hold around 12 but um, again last week kind of throws everything off so you know I've seen this one I've been watching it for a, a really long time so I have uh, confidence in this one I think we could see some uh, decent movement uh, up to around 1250 um, maybe even to $13 here soon on, on sushi iota I, I hold this one over in the uh, eToro exchange um, lots of opportunities here it's been holding steady at the 150 so I like this one and uh, you know we saw it up upwards of, of two dollars not too long ago Adam current signal uh, one day is uh, it's already down a little bit from you know the 38 39 so there's really good short-term opportunity right there it was just there earlier today at around 38 so that's good movement um, with just the one day um, and then if you stretch this out over a month uh, I think Cosmos has the uh, potential to hit around the low 40s to mid 40s uh, this week possibly Polkadot just a textbook upward trend great great momentum there and if you stretch this out to see what the potential is here uh, you're seeing you know, high 40s, low 50s on Polkadot, and I think that's like a tier three call. So I think that's a good a good bet. I think even at 36, you're still in good shape to hop in there. Um, it won't be something that happens overnight. You might hold on to it for a week or two, but I think that's a good solid play there as well. Um, here's the sushi swap when you break this out. This is the only thing, you know, if you break this out to a month, we're seeing that it really should have held resistance around 11 and it got down below that. Um, but it did come up and down, so it's like right there. 
Um, and like I said, I've been watching it, so I, st I still think there's confidence. Uh, I, I still have confidence in it. Uh, I think the, the marketplace will as well. And you know, historically in, in a good market, um, you're seeing this one trade around $14. So there's a lot of good opportunity there. It's just not gonna be one of those quick hits. So hopefully that helps. Um, let me know if you guys make any moves and if you have any good success uh, this week, please share it with us.